So this book, Organized Tomorrow Today by Dr. Jason Selk and Tom Bartow, is quite different from all the other ones I've recommended so far, but one of my favorite ever. Seriously, you have to read this book, get it and learn it before any of the other ones I've covered so far, because it will help you make the most out of the lessons learned in all those other books. Are you curious to hear more? If so, good, because if you want to find out more about why I like this so much, then all you have to do is keep on watching. Hi everyone, I'm Kevin from Entrepreneur's Book Club, here to find the best books for entrepreneurs and business people, review them, and share that with you. So if you want to catch my recommendations in the future, then all you have to do is click like, subscribe down below, sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode. So what is this book all about? Well, in one word, it's about mindset. If you think about it, mindset's one of the most important things in the world that you can control. Many things that happen are out of our control, but our mindset is not. So having the right mindset can help you overcome challenges, achieve great successes, and just generally help you optimize and organize many different parts of your life. Well, that sounds vague, right? But this book has eight total chapters, each teaching you a specific tool or lesson that you can use in your daily life. For example, a few of these chapters are, number one, how to ruthlessly prioritize and why you should do so. Number two is how to get over those mental humps that always occur when you're trying to form a new habit. Number three is about how to make your goals focus on processes, not results, and why that matters a lot. And number four is about how you should maximize the time you already have instead of trying to create more time, per se. These are just a few of the amazing topics that are covered, and if any of them pique your interest, you must buy this book now and read it as soon as possible. Let me stress, this is not just some hand-waving, rah-rah motivational stuff that they cover. It is backed by real psychological studies and also real-world success stories from some of the most famous people of our time. One of my favorite lessons that I personally learned and stuck to my heart is their chapter on how to form new habits because of how much of what they wrote applied to my life in the past. I mean, just think about it. We've all tried to start new habits before, like go to the gym, learn a new language, or whatever, right? But we inevitably reach that hard stage where we hit a mental wall and we just want to give back or push it back. And those are the truly crucial moments because if we can get past those moments a few times, then that is when we honestly are able to form those into habits. But if you give up, most likely the habit will not be formed and all that effort is to waste. So this book teaches us four things that we can do to get through those moments that they call fight throughs. First is to take your habit and schedule it in your day. Instead of saying, I'm going to go study for my certification for 20 minutes every day, you should schedule it. So if say at noon, I'm going to study for my certification for 20 minutes every day. What does this do? It makes it way easier not to indefinitely push it back and forget about it or just not do it for that day. Number two, when you feel the urge to skip doing your activity, you should acknowledge it out loud and say, this is a fight through moment. This helps you recognize it and increases your ability to win that fight. Number three is to ask yourself how you'll feel about winning this fight through and how you'll feel if you lose it. Focusing on these positive and negative emotions can help you push through and fight through the urge to stop or give up. And finally, number four is to mentally project out in the future what your life will look like in a few years if you really ingrain this habit and if you don't. This is another way to mentally think about it and give yourself the encouragement you need to push through and fight through. Don't these just make so much sense? I can't believe I didn't know these before. These would have helped me so much in life before when I've been trying to form new habits and save me a lot of time and pain. To be honest, I've already started utilizing these four steps in my daily life when trying to form new habits. So that was just one specific lesson I liked, but what about the book in general? What did I like about it? Well, I liked their really clear structure and their brevity, and combined together, it made it flow really well. Rarely did I feel that I was reading any filler content or any fluff. Because of that, I was able to get through 20 pages at a time like this. Besides that, all the lessons were super helpful and applicable to me. I will definitely be using them as often as possible. These are especially powerful paired with the other business books that I've shared with y'all already and the ones I'll read in the future. Now, what did I not like? Not much, personally. I'm hard-pressed to find things I didn't like about this book. Some people may not like all the sports analogies he gives, but I think they were really applicable because I've played some sports in the past too, and they do make sense. But also he includes business analogies as well, 
And so those really fill in the gaps and you can see how these lessons apply in a wide range of professions and in your personal life as well. Overall, I think this book can really help all entrepreneurs and business people, but more than that, it can help just anybody who wants to live more efficiently and achieve their goals and push aside their weaknesses that held them back in the past. So in terms of ranking this book, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I'm gonna rank it right off the very top. So this is my list, you can check it out so far. And you definitely should check out this book. Come back and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below as well. Well, that's all folks for this episode. Next up, I'll be reading a book about traction for startups. Can't wait to finish it and share with y'all my thoughts on that one too. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Peace out.